Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java constructors for class objects so a constructor in java is similar to a method that is invoked when an object of the class is created so guys a constructor is nothing but it is a method which can be invoked when a new object of a class is created so unlike java methods a constructor has the same name as that of the class and does not have any return type so guys two important things over here the constructor of a class will also have the same name as that of the class and it does not have any return type so we will not have void or else the integer or the string return type as well so this is the syntax in which the constructor is defined so we have the class keyword followed by the class name and inside this class name apart from the fields and other different methods we have a constructor which is another method over here so if you notice this name of the constructor that is test is same as that of the class name that is this test class name and then we have the constructor body inside these curly brackets now guys in java we have different types of constructors so constructors can be divided into three types so first of all there is no argument constructor so this is the modifier and then the constructor name so it is not having any parameters over here and then we are having the body of the constructor the second type is parameterized constructor so in this type of constructor we can also pass the parameter over here inside these open and close brackets and then again we will have the body of the constructor in order to initialize some fields or do some mathematic operations as well and then there is a third kind that is a default constructor so if we do not create any constructor that is neither a no argument constructor nor the parameterized constructor so what happens is java compiler automatically creates a no argument constructor during the execution of the program so guys this we have seen previously while creating the animal class and animal object so guys all these things we are going to see with the help of examples so let us move to the eclipse ide so i'll just remove these lines of codes for now so we have cleared all the code for now and we just have public class java test class that is the main class and then inside that we have the main method so guys we are going to create the class again the same class we are going to create with the class keyword followed by the name of the class that is animal so this we had created previously and this animal is going to have two things so the very first thing is a field which will be of type string and the variable name will be name so this is the name field and we will have the display name method in order to display the name of that animal so we will have void followed by display name so we have display name over here and then it is not going to take any parameter so i am going to keep it blank and then what we are going to do is we are just going to print the name of the animal so we have name of animal is and then we have plus operator followed by name so guys this will help us in order to print the name of this animal which is related to the object that we are going to create in the main method so guys let us create an object now so in order to create the object we have to use the class name so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and then we will have the object name as animal1 and then followed by equal to operator new operator and then the name of the class that is animal followed by open and close brackets so guys this is the third type of constructor that we have seen over here that is a default constructor so since we are not providing any constructor for now that is no argument constructor is not there parameterized constructor is not there so internally the java compiler automatically creates a no argument constructor during the execution of the program so let me just save this file and try running this code so i have saved this file and try running this code so guys nothing is happening over here that's because we have not assigned any value to this name field so what we will do is we will use this object name that is animal1 and then dot followed by name and then the name of the animal we'll just assign it the value as dog and then guys we are going to call the function that is display name so animal1 dot and then we have display name as the method to be called in order to print the name of the animal so i'll just save this file and try running this code so as we can see name of animal is dog and then guys it depends on you what value you provide to the name field of the animal class i'll just save this file and try running this code now 
so we have name of animal is cat so it depends on this value what the name of the animal is and accordingly the name of the animal will get printed now guys another important thing where is the use of the constructor over here so since this is a third type of constructor we are not providing any constructor and internally the java compiler is providing a constructor but explicitly we can also provide a constructor from our side so let us understand this with the help of example so in order to provide the name of the animal not inside the main method but within the constructor we have to create a constructor over here so guys what are the rules in order to create the constructor it is not going to have any return type so this void or integer data type will not be there but it is going to have the same name as that of the class so i'll just copy this name over here that is a class name and paste this over here animal and then we are going to have the open and close brackets so guys the very first thing that we are going to see is no arguments constructor that is the first type of constructor over here so what we will have is we will not have any parameter and then inside these curly braces what i will do is this name that is name i'll just set the name as let's say dog over here so i have provided dog over here now guys what we can do is we can remove this initialization part since we are calling the constructor so what is happening over here is whenever we are calling this class that is animal using the new operator so internally what is happening is if the constructor is not present then java compiler will automatically call a constructor without any arguments that happens behind the scenes and it is not having any line of code so nothing will get executed whereas when we provide a constructor like in this case we have provided a constructor with the name field and then the value of the field then this constructor will be called so when it is called whenever the control flow encounters this line that is new animal this constructor will be called so what is happening is animal 1 after this new animal will be encountered and then this animal constructor will be called the name will be assigned to this string that is dog and then after that if we are calling this display name from here using this animal 1 this dog value will get printed along with this line of code so guys let me just save this file and try running this code as you can notice we have not provided the name of the animal over here so i'll just run this code so as we can see name of animal is dog that's because this constructor that is animal was called behind the scenes and the name variable was set to the value as dog now guys let us say i want to change the name of the animal to tiger so i will have to just change the value of the variable inside this constructor over here i'll just save this file and try running this code so as we can see name of animal is tiger and in this way we can easily use the constructor always remember that whenever we are using the new keyword followed by the name of the class this is the instance where the constructor will be called so this constructor is called and then the name is assigned or any other field that you want to assign will be assigned over here but guys there is a limitation in this case so whenever we are using this particular method of assigning the name variable a particular value so this is tiger so next time let's say we want another object to be created so i'll just copy this so i'll copy this and paste it over here and then we have another object let's say animal 2 and we are calling this animal 2 dot display name but there is no way in order to change the name of the animal 2 to some other value since we are just providing name as tiger so both the objects that is animal 1 and animal 2 both will have the same name that is tiger that's because we are having only one constructor and this constructor belongs to the entire class whereas these two objects are different objects let me just save this file and try running this code to show you the output so as we can see name of animal is tiger that is of the animal 1 display name and then again name of animal is tiger that is again of animal 2 display name so guys in order to overcome this limitation what we can do is we can take a parameterized constructor so as you can see we have the second type of constructor that is parameterized which will take a particular parameter over here and that parameter will be used in order to assign any value to any fields in the class so guys let us understand this with the help of example what i will do is over here the string name is the field but what i will do is i will provide the parameter as a string over here and let's say we provide it as text and now what will happen is the text will be coming from 
these brackets so as you can see there is a red line now over here that's because the constructor animal is undefined so we do not have any constructor without any parameter since we are expecting a parameter over here of type string so we will provide the parameter as well but over here before providing the parameter what i will do is the name value should be assigned with the value that is coming from text so i'll just copy this and paste this over here so the value that is text coming from this new animal will come over here in the form of text and this value will be assigned to the name so guys now you can provide the parameter over here inside these open and close brackets so over here you are expected to provide a string so we can have the name of the animal as cat so the name of animal that is cat will be assigned to the animal one object and the name of the animal two can be provided now using these open and close brackets so over here i will provide another name of the animal so let's say we have the name of the animal as dog so now in this case guys we are providing animal 1 name as cat and animal 2 name as dog and these two names should get printed on console so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see name of animal is cat and name of animal is dog that's because we have provided these parameters and using this constructor the text is helping us in order to assign the value to this name field and guys in this way we can easily use either the no argument constructor or even a parameterized constructor based on our requirements so guys i hope you have learned a lot about classes and objects and along with that you have also learned about constructors and how we can assign the value to these fields inside the classes based on the constructors so that's it in this video please make sure that you practice on your own so that you come to know about different outputs based on your different inputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is strings in java programming so stay tuned